Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you are watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. Today we will be taking a look at another Low Scarabeo deck. This is the Edmond Dulac Tarot. It comes in this top box. It's not focusing, okay? <laughs> and it comes with a little white book and since it's a low scarabeo deck it also has it in different languages so you don't get a lot okay so you only have about 20 pages of text in this guidebook so you have uh, so you have some information about Edmond Dulac and then it already goes into the meanings of the cards, so the majors and the minors. So it does have a short description of the card before it goes to the meaning, so it, it's still a little bit better than some little white books that just have keywords. Um, this is the title card and another extra card for Low Scare Bay. These are the backs. Oops. These are the backs of the cards. It is reversible. Um, it's a standard card stock for Los Carabello, which is actually one of my favorites for shuffling. Um, it's flexible, it snaps back. The size is a little bit smaller, narrower, and a little bit shorter than a standard tarot. This is the Centennial RWS, but I love the size and I love the card stock. Okay, so the cards are a little bit, well, it's, I would still say it's matte, which is a little bit of sheen. And let's take a closer look at the cards. Okay, so let's take a look at the cards one by one. So it has these ornate borders at the top and bottom with numbers for the major arcana. I don't mind the borders, um, but the art is so very detailed that it does feel a little bit busy at times, but at the same time, it's so rich that it feels like it's pulling me into this particular world when I read with these cards. And I love, I wish, actually it's a little bit bigger <laughs> because I don't have really good eyesight so some of the details are hard to pick up, but it's just, there's something about the art style here that makes me want to dive into the picture and like or it makes me feel like i'm also able to immerse myself into the image that is depicted on the cards which i wasn't really expecting uh because it is one of those decks that use pre-existing art which if you watch my walkthrough of the um fairing pinter tarot sometimes doesn't uh some of the images don't land or or is it how I traditionally see the meanings of the cards but for this deck and I've, I've, uh, I've used it a few times already before before this flip through which is a deviation from how I usually bond with decks but it, there's something about this and the art in this deck that even though it is not exactly like the typical or how I would traditionally interpret the the tarot cards there's just, it's it still gives me really good messages and I can still relate it to the meanings that I have in my head um, that I have in my head for the tarot and I don't know if it's because the art is so detailed it feels like you can really use your intuition to, to read with it or I don't know but it, it feels like a really special deck to me similar to how the Chicoli Tarot feels which surprised me because initially I wasn't even sure I liked the art <laughs> but I wanted to um, I wanted to expand my collection of decks that use pre-existing art yeah but this one 
this one is a win, at least from my perspective, and I really like it. So if you want to take a closer look at the card, since it is very detailed, um, you can feel free to slow down or pause. just it's like a very fairy tale world that draws you in i think that's the easiest way for me to describe it which is why i like it so much i wish it was bigger but again if it were bigger then it would mean it's a bigger card and i probably won't be won't enjoy shuffling it as much as i do this particular deck and I don't know how that would impact my overall experience of reading and using this deck so so I think as it is, it's it's a really, really well done and really something that I enjoy using and reading with. Even the simple act of shuffling, which I'll show you later, feels really magical with this deck. Which makes this particular cardstock one of my favorites. So for the chords, you just have to know the, the images, but for the minors, the numbered chords, you do have the number and the suit, oh sorry, the, yeah, the suit at the bottom. So I zoomed out so you can see how this shuffles. And let me just tell you, I love shuffling this deck. There's something about this cardstock. It's similar to the Nicoletta, but um, but for some reason, this deck just shuffles a little bit better. I don't know. I, it, it just it's perfect <laughs> for what I uh, from what I feel is a good shuffling experience. So I do have. Or shuffling is a big part of my practice. Sometimes I just get cards and shuffle them without even reading um, to relax, to center myself. And this really shuffles well, in my opinion. And if you can see, even if I just do it this way and just do that, it still has a good mix. It has a decent mix. And, and that is, oops, that is pretty difficult to do with some uh, e even more expensive but so I love that this is mass market I mean do you hear that sh that sh sound <laughs> when I bridge it it's just very rela relaxing for me yeah. anyway enough enough shuffling uh, it also overhands really well it doesn't stick it's slippy enough sometimes it does it you might have to be a bit careful with it because it is a little bit slippery, but uh, yeah, I, I like, I really like this card stuff. And yeah, so let's just see if a card wants to be red. And we'll see how the guide book reads. Okay. So let me just choose the top card. Okay. And we will be reading. <laughs> we will be reading for the Nine of Swords. A creature from a nightmare bears down on the body of a sleeping man. He rests with a sword within arm's reach and with many medicines by his bedside in hopes of attaining peaceful sleep. The keywords obsession, difficult and agitated nights, nightmares, and exhaustion. So short, but I, th I think it's still a little better than some other little white books that just have keywords and 
you can always use other references um, for if you want to know more or if you want to get a little bit more meanings to the cards. And as I mentioned, the cards are detailed enough and it's so scenic that you can really just, just by looking at it, know that it's something about nightmares or these fears and anxiety that plague you when you sleep, restlessness and all of these things. So, so yeah. So that is the Edmund Dulac Tarot. Uh, it is. I, I really like this deck. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised by it. It is mass market, so it is readily available if you're interested in picking it up. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click on the like button and consider subscribing to my channel where I post videos like this at least once a week. See you again next time. Bye!